versus Ice Unleashed. Unleash mm -hmm. the Ice guys. Let's get into it. We see Kavine, pretty prominent uh, Mario here, and we see Ice. Now, I haven't really seen much Kevin, so could you give me a rundown on sort of what they like to do, if there's any particular quirks to their gameplay? Yeah, so for, based on my, my last uh, commentary over uh, Kevin, it seems like they're very good at uh, do you say it? applying the uh, Universal Fireball. Um, a lot of them like to uh, reverse Fireball towards the mid-stage from platform. Uh, and that allows for some niche little aerials. Like sometimes they can do uh, a reversal fireball into like falling up air, and then you get those really nice strings. Um, sometimes they don't even need to do that. Sometimes they do landing near, and there's like just enough hit stun to, to like combo off of that. Uh, and yeah, now we're seeing that right here. You can get uh, somewhat even. Even no more. This is a 40% <laughs> deficit. I Oh no, and a stock. Ice is just on fire right now, or should I say on thunder right now, because this is Robin after all. Oh no! Ooh. Coming back with some fire of their own, most certainly. Wow. Ice still was able to take a very commanding lead for the start, but that's nothing Mario can't make back very quickly. This is a character who definitely deals a lot of damage. Just want to <gasps> give a no shout out to UBL oh. Soul for the $10 Macharino <gasps> contribution. Let's go. Oh my yeah. god, Kevin. What? Oh, um, th what the hell, man? Alright, that was a really nasty game. That is something that I'm actually not familiar with. I did not know Kevin could do that. So uh, that was certainly a, a good surprise. <laughs> that was disgusting. Now this is. A completely different story from the beginning of this game. Ice has completely ended up on the back foot. Absolutely disgusting from Kevin. Jeez. Jeez. And you notice, it's it's really funny because most of the time you see, oh, what? no way. Oh, oh, oh this ledge trapping. Oh. Is that it? Oh, that's it. One of those classic arc fire into up smash setups. If you played against a Robin online, you definitely have experienced that before. Yeah, 100%. Now we see it back to even. This is already getting close. All right. And we did see earlier that Nosferatu. That's such a good command grab because it healed so much damage and does quite a bit. And it also puts up quite a bit of pressure because you have to really hard read to be able to land that move. Yeah, and if you're able to catch a character such as Mario that has a lot of great aerial maneuverability, that says a lot about your Robin play. That said, though, mm -hmm. offstage? <gasps> no, not gonna take it. Owen's dead, too. <gasps> and so is Ice Unleashed. <laughs> I, I couldn't even assess that match. That was almost too quick. We've just gotten some really quick sets so far that was game one but already that just felt that felt like a whole story in one game yeah i love one thing i really like about kavine is they're not afraid to use tilts so not just up tilt but like f tilt tech chase which i think mm -hmm. is super underrated because you can do f tilt and then run towards them because he has a lot of great air speed and potentially falling up air so there's like a lot of niche ways you can uh, innovate with your movement. Oh. Okay, I see how they died on that second stock. They had actually sort of SD'd. They back aired. And it, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that happens when you buffer like an option after the attack. It's unfortunate. But they're going right back to the lab, right back to PS2. Oh, barely missing the dash attack because it was a little bit too high. Ice is sort of starting out the exact same way, dealing quite a bit of damage, but Kevin not wanting it to start the same way. Definitely wants it to end that way, though. All right, man, just to get back to stage. 
just need to take a stock here. Because this is sort of around the percent that Robin can kill very effectively. Yeah, definitely the perfect kill percent for uh, Robin here. Mm -hmm. But Levin Sword isn't here anymore, so it does mean they have to wait a little bit, but it's back and just needs one arc fire, and that should be able to confirm into a kill. <laughs> oh, getting a little. Oh, Microsoft PowerPoint there, but, you know, or Google Slides, if that's more your style. Yeah, speaking of style here, I, I like the little switch-ups here with the convene being a little bit more uh, jumpy, just like full hopping a lot more, as opposed to short hopping. Mm -hmm. It does help get around quite a few things, so does also mix up how they want to oh my god oh, uh, did you see what happened there I was actually that was just an up smash they were trying to go for something and then they caught it with the up smash before they could actually get the startup going home whoa okay so Kavin's kind of popping off a little bit oh just cape raw on stage that is bold Kavina's just running away with this. Absolutely going hot like a jogger in the summer. This is looking very dangerous for Ice. Alright, throws up the cape for good measure. Mm. Those dash attacks are just perfect for covering the ledge. And an up smash coming out. I'm not gonna quite take it, but potentially another one. Oh, okay. Finally taking the stock, but Ice is at so much damage. Definitely needs a Nosferatu or two to even get it close to even. Mm. Mm. That's always a very tricky jab to use, the flurry, because that does eat away a little bit at your recovery. Yeah, there's certainly some risk to it. And sometimes they don't even go for the uh, flurry hit. Sometimes they just go for the solid, like, third hit to yeah. kind of send them off. Third hit can kill, so that's usually a pretty strong one. Sometimes you just need that extra damage. And there we go, that Nosferatu we talked about. Such a great command grab. And honestly, one thing about command grabs that people don't really talk about, getting command grabbed in a fighting game is one of the most terrifying things. But so is that up smash. Ugh. Devastating a smash. Are we gonna see a gimp? Yes. It's back to even. Very good job from Ice here, making it a very close game, not letting Kavine walk all over them. Back to even. Just air to airing with the fireballs, and it worked like three times in a row saying you need to mix up your approach I, I like the runoff jab that's a really fast option comes out frame two gets the oh. job done but that move also gets the job done yeah no back to even. that is the equalizer of smashing oh! <laughs> Catching the neutral get up with the down smash. That's such a strong down smash because if I remember correctly, it also catches you a little bit from behind as well. So, definitely scary to get hit by. Yeah, I believe that covers. I'm trying to think. Actually, let's take a look at this. We are getting a replay here. Okay, covers. I feel like they can cover Ledtrol. I could be wrong on that, but I have a feeling it can cover Ledtrol kind of scary. Just linger. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's... It's a very active move. And it's a very common Robin setup to be able to actually just throw out the arc fire and then at the ledge they will neutral get up to try and get around it and then you just boom, just hits them right as they thought they were safe. We're getting into our game three here. Back to PS2 again. 
These two definitely just want to play on this stage and nothing else. Yeah. You know, honestly, I, I don't blame them. This is quite common. Sometimes if you're in an agreement that PS2 is kind of like the safe pick, then in general, you like to go there. Um, yeah. Of course, PS2 is a very common stage to start off with. Um, you know, and so if you feel like you're only comfortable with the stage and your opponent is kind of in the same boat, um, mm -hmm. this is pretty much the most popular stage that you can uh, pick from. Oh, definitely. It's easily the most popular stage out there. But, I mean, right now it looks like Ice is running a clinic on this stage. It's a very good stage for Robin, allowing for quite a few extensions with the arc fires. And not the lack of a top platform does make it so that you can just make it uh, so that they can't really get as many opportunities to tech out. Ooh. That was... <laughs> what was that, like, empty hop into... F smash? Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But these two players are just evening it out so quickly. Every single time one of them takes a stock, it's just right back at them. Oh. Just sort of throwing out those fireballs, not wanting Robin to get in, because that is one of the disadvantages of Robin. It is they are a very slow character. You so, just a little bit of zoning, preventing their approaches from specific angles, can go a long way. Yeah, certainly, certainly. With that said, though, we, we are seeing some uh, uh, utility from Ice to kind of just manage around that uh, speed issue. Um, such as that moment right there where we saw uh, an arc fire into uh, the up air. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't want Robin to get in. Yeah, I mean, you know, honestly, I don't blame Kavine going for the, the Cape Trump. I know it's just easier, but Ooh. I, mean, I just feel like they reacted to it. Out of arc fires, but they should be there back now. And that means that Ice is on a fresh arc fire. So scary. Mm. That's one of the things about Nosferatu as well. E even though it's very powerful, its range is very small. So you really have to be confident that you're going to land it because it's very punishable if you don't. Yeah, most definitely. And now we see Ice at high percent. Let's see if they can run away with this. Some extra credit. Okay, both in the stage. They're just hitting each other, and that was perfect kill country. It's back to that final stock. It's been that way every single game so far. These two are neck and neck as Kevin is just getting it going. Oh my oh, god! Holy, holy shit! Holy shit! Ending it off with a forward aerial. The Mario Classic. You know it. You may hate it, you may love it, but it is here to stay. But the one who isn't here to stay is Ice, as they are sent to the loser's bracket. Wow. I think that was a zero to death. Yeah, it that was. was. A, it that was. was a zero to death. Really? I'm sorry, we need to see that again and again. I want to see it again and again. Jesus Christ. Boom! Ah. <sighs> Oh, sorry. I was just looking at the Twitch stream there. I saw the, I saw the, right as it goes, bam! <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ, Kevin! Kevin going in. Ugh, Kevin's a fiend. Ugh, that oh. was. That hurt to watch.